everybody. Hope y'all are having a dope ass day today. It's your boy Alex and I'm back today with another reaction video for something a little bit different. Guys, we got Bill Burr today. Now, I don't know hardly shit about Bill Burr's professional career. My extent of knowledge on Bill Burr is I've seen him in Breaking Bad. This is Hugh. Um, he's fantastic. Loved him in Breaking Bad. And then other than that, I've just seen clips of him on social media saying and doing some outlandish things, which he's just kind of speaking his own truth, which is very refreshing and respectable. So I wanted to check out Bill Burr. What I did is I went to YouTube, typed in Bill Burr, organized the videos by the highest view count, and this was the number one video that popped up. It's called, No Reason to Hit a Woman. How uh, women argue. <sighs> This should be good. Because the latest thing going on in my marriage and relationship is my wife wants to move to Hawaii, and I don't. And uh, it's been hard to tactfully argue, you know? So this will be good. Let's see if there are any things in this video that I recognize from my personal life, shall we? If y'all are brand new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, slap your gooch, and let's get going, yeah? You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for The View, and they started talking about domestic violence. Right? For the nine millionth time this year. God, here we go. Right off the bat. All right. Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers oh because my God. she didn't dry the can opener off properly. You know? Yeah. Gonna fucking rust! Right? <laughs> How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for... Oh! Fuck! Ah! Now I get it. Up so daisy, sweetheart. Here we go. Here Sorry go. about that. Let Bill Burr make the jokes. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. <laughs> All right, let's hear him out. Wake me from a hear drunken stupor. I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason. Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? <laughs> there is no reason to hit a woman. Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day. There you go. <laughs> Every day. You didn't the do one it, chick. right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. Relax, There's no reason. Girl. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You gotta move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's gonna stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. I don't even think it, no, not in that situation. All right, that was a hypothetical. Not in that hypo, I don't agree with that. You want an actual story? Yeah. I'll give you one. Okay. I'll give you one. All right. I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going <laughs> to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> I need to get them bass drum muscles up. So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning, I wake up. Logical. It's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up, my girl I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. She goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself. Just say no. So I'm just limping out of the All room. Right. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's. Like, God, bullshit. Dog's walking next to me. And I got to admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish. Said you know, some spiteful just thinking shit about or my what? relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just going to do whatever the hell you want to do? All right? And fuck me? Fine. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod <laughs> on full blast walking around the house. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh so that's what I did. Turned it all the way up. And I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. And that was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> 
just trying to stupid. piss her off. And I gotta tell you stupid. something, work like a charm. <laughs> work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song <laughs> that I was listening to. Ah, oh, it's one of the highlights of the relationship. <laughs> So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're gonna talk about this right now. Comes out, poo, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears, it fucking hurt. So I'm like, well, yeah. leave me alone, I don't wanna talk about it. Put the headphones back on, she comes right back up again. Poo, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up, talking through my teeth. Honey, leave me alone, don't wanna talk about it, right? Put them on third time, she comes up. Poof, slaps him right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This, this is ridiculous. I never wanted no, to do that. The thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills right. any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you gonna solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What, is, what does answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Call you fucking around. had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like yell out? And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. <laughs> Answer him! Answer him! Answer him. Every fucking special I do, there's always one! <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. Talking Answer about hitting him. women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, that is perfect. You know, I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. <laughs> that was too perfect. Dude, that could have easily been planted for marketing reasons. Unbelievable. Probably and, 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 wasn't, but that's a good marketing tactic right there. Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> How did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> I realize that. Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have right. a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging, all right? I mean... <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two uh... minutes for instigating, right? <laughs> They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. Just say it, dude. In your there heart was of one hearts. person that clapped. <laughs> what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, "Oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream?" He fucking. <laughs> you know. Ah, that's so stupid. Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight, and some crazy shit was being said. 
Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, Oh, fuck all your friends! I don't give a fuck! <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker! Damn! Right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh, my God, I'll bring my out! I'll bring my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck that, because you know what Such it is? Such a weird they never opinion. Address it's crazy. women argue, which I think is a core Okay, let's hear it. Shit. Right. You Let's know, hear it. I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> <laughs> I have begun. I wanna know, because I tradition. hate losing arguments, man. I really do. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. Okay. All right? All right. No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along <laughs> with your dad. And in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed. This desperate, it's a witch's attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt what it is and cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument now it's not about that well that's no reason to call me a cunt and then that's it you're in this room now right <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old you know grows old alone has like that basement apartment just screaming up at the younger couple turn it down that isn't music so I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know what she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. Oh, shit. And next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your right. wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay just in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? Yes, oh, that's lean funny, on the ribs, man. let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Uh, there's no okay, way. You should rub one out. You <laughs> rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That is hilarious. Rub one out like a man does. <laughs> Ow. Oh. What the fuck? Y'all ever have your cheeks hurt from smiling and laughing so much? Oh my god, that was awesome. Guys, if there is any more Bill Burr you want me to check out, drop some comments down below. Part of my humor and what makes me think things are so funny is how outrageous it is. How fucking disturbing it is. Like, the, the worse it is, the funnier it is to me just because it's so out of place. It's so out of left field. And I feel like Bill Burr scratches that itch that I have for that type of comedy very, very well. Where does Bill Burr fall on your hierarchy of comedians? Drop some comments down below letting me know. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade. You. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact. Oh, yeah. Love y'all. Peace.